Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel and in this video, I'm going to be doing a full review of a 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross. You got your newer style Toyota Corolla Cross key fob, lock, unlock and your trunk release button. The side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, it will automatically fold in and upon unlocking it will automatically fold out again this car does get toyota's smart key access system so just have the key fob on yourself the doors are currently unlocked to lock the car press the indentation on the front door handles And to unlock it, just tap the area behind the door handles. As simple as that. You do get a black leather interior with white stitching. So on the door panel itself, you do get your window lock, central locking, your mirror controls. You get storage and cup holders, speaker. And the driver's seat in this car is fully powered. This is for your seat back. This for your seat height and this for your seat position. You do get your automatic light function, interior brightness, button to release your powered rear hatch. Amazing. Overall, it's a really cool interior. In conjunction with that smart key access system, you do get keyless start as well. So, to start, keep the key fob inside the interior of the vehicle. We'll just turn on the accessories. Press the power button once without putting your foot on the brake. And to start the entire engine, just put your foot on the brake and press the power button mounted to the left of the steering wheel. This car only traveled 495 kilometers. You do get a fully automatic driver's side window. So before we check on the interior, let's check out the exterior first. Just by cutting on the headlights. Automatic lights. Fog lights. And the exits. Let's open up the fuel door and pop the hood. This car does get 7 airbags with an ABS or an EBD, an alarm system, blind spot info system, child safety lock, immobilizer, stability control, a 5-3 seatbelt point, isofix, autonomous braking system, lane keeping assist, collision warning, seatbelt reminder, and tire pressure monitoring system. The front suspension of these tires is a McPherson strut, the rear suspension is a torsion beam, the front wheels is an 18-inch alloy rims, and same to for the rear. 
The front brakes are ventilated discs, while the rear brakes are solid discs. Dimensions of the front and rear tyres are 225-50R18 tyres. The front headlamps of this car is a BI LED projector, while the tail lamps is a LED combination. It also produces front and rear fog lights, as well as LED daytime running lights and wing mirror turn indicators. The Toyota badge in this car is actually blue colour because it's actually a hybrid car. Lastly, this car is pricing at RM136,550. This car is powered by 1.8 litre, 16 valve, which produces a capacity of 1798cc, produces 97 horsepower at 5200 rpm, and also produces 142 newton meters of torque at 3600 rpm. The bore time stroke is 80.5 millimeters times 88.3 millimeters. It also produces a single motor with a battery type of a nickel metal hydride. And lastly, this car produces 71 motor horsepower and also 163 newton meters of motor torque. This car produces a CVT automatic and the drive line is a front wheel drive vehicle. All right, let's shut the hood. You do get available exterior colors such as gray, white, silver, blue, and red. Dimensions of this car are 4,460 mm, 1,825 mm, and 1,620 mm in length, width, and height, respectively. The wheelbase is 2,640 mm, while the weight is 1,430 kg. The fuel tank is 36 liters. There are four ways to open up the powered tailgate or the powered trunk in this 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross. First way is through the button on the key fob. The second way is via the button inside the cabin. The third way is via a touchpad right beneath the Toyota badge, which I'll show you later on. And the fourth way is just go towards the rear bumper of the vehicle. Make sure you have the key fob on you. Click your foot underneath the rear bumper. There's a sensor right below. pops open inside of the trunk on this car just okay a touch pad right beneath the Toyota Corolla Cross badge Trunk space measures 26.5 cubic feet. You do get a cargo cover. The first thing you see in the trunk. You get Toyota Corolla Cross. Trunk mat. With an emergency kit. Emergency tire inflator. Down below, you do get a um, spare tire. As well as your jack. To expand boot space. Just fold down the rear seats by locating this lever, pull on it, then flip the seat back down. Now that I have folded down the rear seats, it measures 66 cubic feet.
All right. So let's roll up the window. And let's check out the rest of the car. To fold down the rear seat, like I said, locate this lever, pull on it, then flip the seat back down. Window control. handle above as well as a hook down below you get a couple of air vents with USB ports storage pocket rear center armrest with cup holders very nice to relax on and very comfortable as well interior lights right above that's pretty much about it Adjustable headrests, front and rear. And to fold down the rear seats from this side, same thing, just locate this lever, pull on it, then flip the seat back down. Split 60-40. Window control again. Air convent right here. Nicely sized glove compartment. Grip handle for the front passenger. Sun visor for the passenger side does get venti mirror and a light right there let's check out the drivers okay Three spoke design, leather wrapped steering wheel with sport grips on the sides. Mm. 
also does get white stitching. Your aircon controls right down here. It is dual zone automatic. To get a temperature right here, door button, automatic button. Your air conditioning button, recirculation, your different zones, fan speed control, economy heat and cool button, front defrost, rear defrost, and off fan speed. On on the touch screen itself, you do get your power button, home button, volume controls, and your voice control with a USB port. So on the home screen itself, you do get your media. phone button, connection button, app, and your settings. On your settings, do get your Bluetooth, my device, pair devices, and available devices. Language, sound settings, address volumes, entertainment media, speech, system tones, and your phone speaker. Audio control, fade balance, and your bass boost level. Equalizer preset, default, classical, electronic, vocal, jazz, rock, and custom. Automatic sound levelizer, off, low, mid, and high. And you do get your loudness of the sound. Display settings. Display color mode, automatic day mode and night mode, brightness, and your wallpaper. Device connections, always ask before connecting, always connect Android Auto, and do not connect automatically. Date and time, set date and time, time format, 12 hour, and 24 hour. You get your notifications as well. Look at an area right here to charge your phone, which is definitely wireless. Some storage right inside. Sorry about the gear not distracting it. Right down here, you do get your EV mode, traction control off, and your drive mode. If you press drive mode, you do get your EV mode so far, you get your power mode, economy mode, and back to normal mode. This car is paired to a continuously variable transmission or CVT. A CVT does have an infinite number of gear ratios which helps to maximize fuel efficiency while driving. B mode stands for engine braking mode or brake in automatic gear. It is the drive of the wheel of an automatic speed system. When you release the accelerator, the automatic speed system understands that you are in a neutral position and accelerates slowly. Cover of cup holder. Front center armrest with a 12 volt. Central locking. All falling side mirrors. Light and indicator controls. Wiper controls. We have wiper controls. Mm -hmm. 
on the right spoke you do get your reset your set cancel which is also known as cruise control adaptive cruise control and lane departure warning you get your mode button so if you press it fully then the system is muted see track buttons right here on the left spoke you got your left right up down and okay button which controls the instrument cluster so if you so right now you are in your average fuel consumption you do get your economy zone your messages you get your settings your clock your lane tracing alert your pre-collision safety as well as your blind spot monitor and your parking sensors. You got your trip, your distance, and your total. You look at your total average fuel consumption. And you do get your exit button. You press the exit button. And yeah, that's how it works. Phone call button volume controls and your voice control right here steering wheel in this car is tilt only you adjust it using this lever right down here if you locate this button right here you can go through just shows trip A trip B your brightness and your odometer into your lights and you get sun visor above with a vanity mirror the driver's side does get a grip handle as well all right So I guess that's it for the startup. We can cut it off right here. And cut the headlights back in automatic mode. All right, let's step out. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe.